overview of what our statement is, faithful servants of Christ, what our statement of faith is, what our doctrine is. Just a brief overview. I mean, if we we're going to go in depth, it would take us a lot longer, but this is just simply just scratching the surface, essentially. So in terms of salvation, we believe salvation is by repentance. See Acts 3.19, Acts 17.30, Acts 20.21, 20, and Acts 26.20. 20. Faith, see Ephesians 2.8 and 9, Romans 5.1-2, Galatians 3.24-26, 2.26, and Romans 3, 25 to 30, and calling upon the name of the Lord. See Romans chapter 10, verse 9 and 13. Repentance is godly sorrow for your sins. Godly sorrow, you know, work with repentance to salvation. See 2 Corinthians 7, 8 to 10. Repentance is you basically realize you're a sinner and that you can't save yourself, and then you turn to God as a result. You know, repent and turn to God. In terms of our eschatolo es eschatological views, we believe in the pre-tribulational rapture as taught in Ephesians 1, 10 to 14, 2 Thessalonians 2, 6 to 8, Romans 8, 18 and 25, uh, Romans 11, 1 to 25, 1 Corinthians 15, 51 to 54, and 1 Thessalonians 4, 14 to 17. We believe in dispensationalism. See 2 Timothy 2, 15, Ephesians 1, 3, 1 to 7, Colossians 1, 25, 25 to 27, and Romans 16, 25 to 26. Those are scriptures on dispensationalism. We believe in pre, we are premillennialists uh, because that's what the Bible teaches. Other miscellaneous doctrines. We believe in the eternal security, the eternal security of the believer. That's what we believe in. Uh, basically, you cannot lose your salvation. That's you're eternally secure. Once Jesus Christ saves you, He paid for your sins. There's nothing you have to do to try to merit your own salvation. Uh, you are secure. See uh, 1 Corinthians 1, 7-8, Ephesians 1, 13, Ephesians 4, 30, John, 10, uh, chap or John chapter 10, verse 28-29, John chapter 5, verse 24, John chapter 6, verse 35-39, Romans chapter 8, verse 35-39, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3-5. We also believe in the imputed righteousness of Jesus Christ. Once you get saved, his righteousness is imputed to you. Basically, you, your own righteousness is filthy rags. So he imputes his righteousness to you so then when you stand before God, he doesn't see your, your filthy, sinful condition. He just sees Christ's righteousness. That is uh, taught in Romans chapter 4, verses 6 to 11. Romans chapter 4, verse 20, 20 to 25. And 2 Corinthians 5, 19. We also believe in the substitutionary atonement. Christ died basically as a substitute for humans. He died on our behalf. He basically took our place on the cross and basically paid for our sins as basically as our substitute. He went and took our place. That is 2 Corinthians 5 21 and Romans chapter 5, verse 16, 6, verse 6 to 21. Now, the Godhead, you know, there's been some controversy over the Godhead, what our belief on the Godhead, and we don't back down on this. This is what our belief is because this is what the Word of God teaches. God is made up of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. See 1 John chapter 5, verse 7, 2 Corinthians 13, 14, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, and 1 Peter 1, 2. Now, what we believe in the Godhead is that God is made up of a body, Jesus Christ, a soul, God the Father, and a spirit, the Holy Spirit. God has a body, Colossians 2, 9, Isaiah 6, 1 to 3, and John 6, 53 to 58. God has a soul. Leviticus 26.11, Leviticus 26.30, and Psalms 11.5, and God has a spirit. Genesis 6.3, uh, Numbers 11.29, and Isaiah 48, verse 16. Now, we, re we reject the following heresies. Conditional security, replacement theology, non-dispensationalism, oneness and modalism, continuation continuationism, which is the Pentecostal charismatic faking of the sign gifts that were meant for the Jews, the Jews we had these sign gifts, and they were not, they're not for us today, they're for the Jews. Uh, they, you can see 1 Corinthians 1, 22, and 1 Corinthians 14, 22. The sign gifts were for the Jewish people, they're not for Christians. We also reject hybrid dispensationalism and Calvinism, among other heresies too. So, just a, a brief overview of what our doctrinal statement is. So, yeah, I just want to clear some things up. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.